Who are you here to see? Not here to see who, here to see a thing. <laughs> what thing? My office. Miss Dutton. Win a winner, turkey dinner. She thinks if she can infiltrate, she can destroy from the inside. That's her plan anyway. No one mentioned this to me. What did you think those gates were for? Once she realizes what market equities are about and what they really are going to do, she doesn't know how to stop them, and that frightens her. Avery has caught some feels for him, and maybe has had some feels for him for a minute. Somebody point me to an empty bunk. From my impression, it's almost like she developed these feelings for this man, and it couldn't work out, so she went back to her family. Watch out for that one. Why, is she trouble? <laughs> when they look at you like that, they're all trouble. It becomes clear to him that, OK, there is something going on there, and I need to kind of be careful around this person. I'm married. I noticed. He has other priorities as he should, <clears throat> Monica, <clears throat> which Avery does not like. Can't be love. God wouldn't let you love something you can't love you back. Yeah, he would. Casey kind of opens up that vulnerable side. Anything can happen, I don't know, but I know it's going to be interesting. <laughs> You Jimmy? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Open that for me. So Jimmy first meets Emily to help her collect from stallions. Is this some kind of exercise room? I'm Katherine Kelly, and I am Emily, a vet tech on the show. And Jimmy kind of comes onto the four sixes into my life. <laughs> All right, get ready. Wait, ready for one? Put this sleeve over his penis and hold it. What? It's a very serious, big deal industry. <laughs> To do all that next to Catherine is such an incredible gift, because she's an unbelievably talented actor, and she's getting thrown into this world for the first time, too. OK, remove it. Collecting um, some things from horses is very normal for someone who works on a ranch every day. It was not normal for me, however. <laughs> on the outside, I was trying to keep it together and be like, you are used to this. You've seen this 100 times before, but on the inside, was low-key freaking out. I'd get used to it. We got 15 more to collect. <laughs> she just kind of commands the space, which I love. So you got a girlfriend? Uh... <laughs> Look, you're one of six single guys in this county under 30. I dated two of them. The other three ain't worth their shit, so... Thought I'd make my move before you go on and get all scooped up. They meet, and it just kind of seems to line up in the right way. I could buy you dinner. All right. Can I have a word, sir? The scene, the scene with Kevin and Cole was quite emotional. For Teeter to be fired was devastating. Taylor shot that, and so it was great working with him on something that is vulnerable and emotional. Sir, whatever's between Walker and Lloyd, it's got nothing to do with me. As wily and rebellious as she is, all she really wants is to belong to a family. And so in a weird way, this thing that feels like it might be an oppressive form of ownership for her really feels liberating. So all that, this is my home forever, it's just talk. Fucking star for life, it don't mean nothing. I don't think Rip ever wanted Teeter to leave. When she comes back and she's, you know, makes her case for, you know, what she's doing and what she's done and how she's done it, you know, I think he's proud that she came and stood up for herself. She's like anybody who's branded, you know, you, you know, you 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 take that oath and you you go through the suffering of being burnt on your chest like that. You deserve to be, you know, part of this ranch until the day you die. Where's your gear at? Everything I own's in the back seat of my truck. 
Go on and grab it. Put it back in the bunkhouse. Thank you. It was so interesting because when I first read it, I just read She Hugs Cole, and then I realized, oh, goodness, he's on a horse. So it's this, like, really awkward sort of thing. She's sort of hugging his leg. And hey, this means something. Yes, sir. I think it's a combination of that brand, but there does feel like there's another emotional thing that ensures her place there. Howdy. Howdy. I've played it as, OK, I understand. I'm going to take a part of me and hawk it at the pawn shop to show that I am all about the ranch. The guy at the store said he's a good one. Well, it meant truce. We're branded men, and we, we have one cause, and that's the Yellowstone Ranch. It seems like, you know, Lloyd has kind of a lot of compassion and stuff for people on the show. I know Walker definitely acknowledges it and appreciates it in a different way. Well, hell of a lot better than when you fucking tore up. That's for sure. Maybe they'll stop trying to kill Walker and they'll go start killing other people together. I don't know. I think Jamie finally meeting his son is more profound than he could have ever imagined. He realizes in the moment who he always wanted to be and who he was always meant to be, which is a father. Do you trust him to be a good politician? I never doubted him as a politician. How about a governor? Jamie wants to be a politician, but Jamie, I don't think, knows entirely what kind of politician he really wants to be. I think he just wants to use the tools he has as a lawyer to have power. Oh, he looks like a governor. Yes, he does. It feels like there's just so many forces coming at John. He's been able to kind of fend them off to degrees. But finally, it's almost there's no choice. I think the governor's office is ready for a new generation of leader. I think Jamie can take the responsibility. Absolutely not. He's going to have to do something that is just goes against the grain of who he is as a person. Well, now, I'll take it. Take it? Take what? Your endorsement. Take it. The last thing he wants to be is a politician. But if he's going to save this, it's the move he has to make. And um, and with that, he orchestrates it. And action. Her father decides to become governor. I couldn't think of anything else to do, so I... When he says that, it's almost like a relief, because she finally says, she's like, thank, thank you. This is how we stop it. This is the way. You know that, don't you? Yeah, honey, I just, I just wish it wasn't. And so she sees that they just have to become more powerful. At the announcement for what Jamie thinks is going to be for him to run for governor, it's instead John who gets called out. It is my great honor to introduce you to my choice as the next governor of Montana. John Dutton. Talking about from Jamie's point of view, it just feels like, you know, when does this ever end for Jamie? When will these people stop? That's already crushing enough and that it's done right in front of him. But then Beth digs it in, of course. This is just the beginning. And it's clear all of her threats are real, that she is coming for every bit of Jamie, every bit of anything positive and good, physically and emotionally in the man. She's going to remove it. There's nowhere to hide.